This is a very brief tutorial on creating relationships in Access Databases. What you see here is a finished product of relationships. It is one to many, the infinity and the one. I'm going to go into the database where we're going to create it. We have this database here. To do this, we click on the database tabs here. We click on relationships. I'm going to start dragging in the tables that we need for this. You can do it this way. It's often the easy way. You can resize by just pulling down to the right. There's a lot of tables in here. I'm just pulling this down. We're going to get order details next. Put that underneath here. We can always move them around later on. Getting an approximate shape of these things. Takes a little bit of time to do this, but it's very easy to do. If you have one in there at extra time, you just hit it and just delete it. For example, if I just put this in here and it says shippers one there, press the delete key. So the first relationship we're gonna do is between products and order details. So I click on product ID here. I'm gonna go to the table called order details and go to product ID, release the mouse, check this off, say create, one to many. I'm going to go to supplier ID and then I'm going to take that to the suppliers, supplier ID, check it off, create. Next one we're going to do is in products, category ID. We drag that into categories to category ID. Check it off. Next one, we're going to go to the shippers table. And it will be shipper ID. And we're taking that to the orders table where it will go to the ship via field names don't have to be the same in this case I didn't check it off that effort and I just double click here check it off now I get the one to many next one I'm gonna go and take the customer ID from the orders table and drag it to the customer ID in the customer table. Check that off. From the orders table, I'm going to take the employee ID and then I'm going to drag that over to the employees table, employee ID. Even though I'm talking fast, don't worry, you've got written notes on how to do this. Next thing here, we're gonna go to orders details table, and we're going to drag order ID over to the orders table, to the order ID. Check it off. It's done. You can adjust things. If you have things blocking, don't do that. It's documentation. So we have all our relationships created. And then we save it. You want to see them again? I don't need that. Just close out of that window. And we're done.